so the way <clears throat> the way I add oil to the system is to uh, you know red line to the high pressure service port blue to the low pressure service port uh, measure exactly precisely uh, how much oil which I have on a scale before and then place the other end of the red hose uh, in the oil and and then turn the blue knob open while the vacuum pump is running and it will suction out the, the oil and it's okay if it suction, suctions in um, moisture or air because um, the next thing uh, we'll do is to vacuum the system <clears throat> for quite a while. Replacing the expansion valve uh, doesn't require any additional oil uh, but because I replaced the receiver drive dryer I need to add 10 cubic centimeters or uh, a third of an ounce of pack 46 oil uh, to the system So one end of this red hose uh, was connected to the high pressure service port and by opening the blue knob I suction the oil and then when I'm done I reconnect it to the manifold. And then um, open up the blue knob, keep the red closed, uh, well, open up both the blue and red knobs and, uh, and turn the vacuum on for um, at least one hour. So that all the moisture is uh, vacuumed out. And if you have a pump with uh, a shorter uh, beauty cycle, uh, then do it for half an hour, turn it off for half an hour, and then turn it back on. And so you want to see this stay at minus 29 to minus 30 inches of mercury. And um, and then um, kind of turn off the pump and uh, leave everything connected wait overnight or at least for one hour to see if it remains and if it does um, add those numbers then it means there are no leaks if there are leaks you'll have to find where the leaks are and, and so uh, I didn't add any dye but uh, you could add dye and, um, and then determine uh, where the leak is coming from but um, after um, you've waited long enough, whether it's overnight or an hour later, then uh, you can pump another 30 minutes. <clears throat> and then um, start to pierce uh, the first of three cans of uh, R134A refrigerant. And you need a can tab uh, that I'll have in the description too. Uh, you connect the tab to the first can and um, and then pierce through it by turning the knob to the right and as you do that um, it will um, you'll hear a hissing sound and uh, and then you want to back off a little bit you still need to be hearing the hissing sound uh, you back off so that uh, you're not blocking the path for the refrigerant to make it to the yellow line and um, 
uh, be careful after an hour, however long of vacuuming, this could be a little hot, so maybe you should use gloves. And do use gloves as you start charging the system. And do use eyeglasses too, just to be safe. So turn it up to the right. To pierce through and you start to hear the hissing sound and then back off. And you may have to make fine adjustments. And so now the refrigerant is making it from the can to the manifold. Uh, through the yellow line and open the yellow line just a little bit so that uh, the refrigerant escapes uh, a little into the atmosphere it will not hurt anything and uh, and then open up the blue knob keep the red close from now on and you can turn the can uh, sideways every now and then And you'll feel as it as you turn it to the left, for example, then that side, the bottom of that side, uh, if if you remove the gloves, and you should every now and then, especially as 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 the can starts to weigh less and less, if you want to know whether or not the can has any refrigerant left in it, you can tell by how cold it is. Um, does it make your hand cold? And if you don't feel the the coldness, then that means that the can is um, out of refrigerant. And so if you turn it to the right, then the bottom of the right side will get cold. If you turn it to the left, the bottom of the left side will go get cold. And so you want to you wanna do that for a little while until the pressure, um, I would say, you can, you can use half of the can. And then start to turn on the, the car and the AC system to the lowest level and maximum uh, fan speed. And, uh, and then check and make sure that your compressor is on and turning, of course, but um, you'll, see, uh, you'll see that uh, the charging will continue and that the pressure gauges uh, uh, you'll see the, the red kind of, and, and that's what you're expecting, the red dial to keep moving higher and higher. I, I, I'm doing this uh, in the, uh, towards the uh, middle of the spring. Uh, so the humidity level is uh, kind of low today, about 25 or so. And um, the temperature is uh, about 79, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And, um, <clears throat> and you'll have to refer to some sort of a chart um, I will provide a link to Nissan's website where uh, it has quite a few charts I'll, uh, I'll, I'll point the link to that uh, where it can also give you indications so if you know based on uh, if you go based on pressure alone um, what the reading should be uh, I'm showing the uh, pressure measurements here but I'm going primarily by weight and that's probably the best method uh, if, uh, if you find that uh, your uh, system is uh, low in, in uh, refrigerant then it's probably best to have it uh, professionally um, vacuumed out or recycled to evacuate it um, shops will uh, do that for free. I have a friend, a mechanic, uh, who does that free for me. And some of them may even pay.
pay you for it a little bit, you know, because um, you're supplying them with um, refrigerant. Uh, <clears throat> but what, what, what you want to do is for the second and third cans, you want to use the same exact um, brand of uh, refrigerant and weight on a scale with the hose attached, with the <clears throat> can tap attached. So you get a good idea of um, how much the entire thing weighs. Uh, so in this case, it's a little over um, one pound, two ounces. And so uh, one pound is 16 ounces. And so that's a total of 18 ounces. And uh, this car only has uh, uh, front air conditioning. So the uh, you'll find the label on the... Uh, in the car under the hood, um, uh, look for the refrigerant label and you'll see that uh, it calls for 950 grams of uh, refrigerant um, plus maximum of uh, uh, 30 more grams. And so that comes to about a little more than 34 ounces. And so I've given the math, uh, as you saw um, a little while ago, um, uh, freeze the video and pay good attention to that. I've also given the numbers for uh, uh, NS500 with uh, rear air conditioning. Uh, so you want to do the calculations right and, uh, and don't overcharge. Uh, you also don't want to undercharge, so it's best to, for the front air conditioning is 500s, is 430s, is uh, 320s, the W2 uh, cars, uh, it's best to not go over 980 grams, um, stay between 950 and 980 grams. It would be best if you measure everything in grams, so you'll be more precise, but um, Anyways, uh, then uh, remove the hoses and, uh, and you're done.